We are not touching. Not that one. Do you want both of them? Yeah. It's a nice shot. What, 10 more? Donna's taking pictures of the uh, sanctuary uh, stuff. This is all the John Truett, Will's um, jacket. They are so small. These people are so small. However, the fact that even Biggie's clothes are kind of, uh, you know. Loads of her, Amanda. Oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> All Amanda Tapping's clothes just oh, gone. This is, this is the dealer's room, by the way. We haven't filmed in here. All the dealers. Uh? Oh, is it? Sea Shepherd desk. Go back here. Oh, all Amanda tapping sweaty clothes. Do they get washed before they get um sold? <laughs> this has Amanda tapping. That is a pretty blouse. Oh, my stick just fell. Oh, really? I know, I know it's <laughs> well you know like they've had before when they had that room and they had the um the, the stands with the, the uniforms on. It's yeah. like you can imagine those in uh, What is that ugly dress? <laughs> Oh yeah, military blows. Posh is that. I love that photo. Part of the notch, it's a Oh, right, yeah, the... Oh, is it? Is it just literally... It's not singed or anything. Oh, cut. Oh, it's her jumpsuit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> With the um, F3 or two. Uh, oh, the <laughs> we got to something other than Amanda Tappin's clothes yet. <laughs> Daniel Carpenter. What is that? Oh, is that a belt? Two belts in No, oh, the uh, uniform and. Uh, Amanda. The Knox. I do love the, the the cut hole. At least my lights come on so I can actually see the cut hole in the shirt from when she was shot. Or oh, was it making dodgy? Is it not very good? I hated that episode. Oh, what to put it up? I know, I have that same problem with it. Daniel. Tin Man. <sighs> it's just not fair. I'll continue him. I do. Ah. Uh? All right. I love all these jumpsuits. Somebody has a serious Carter fetish to collect all these. Uh, replicator Carter. She was scary.
I love this outfit. Standard. Recorder. Colonel. RDA shirt. Oh, what, the big finish discs? Yeah. Apparently they're really, really good. Yeah, it is. Oh, is that signed? I know. My video is going to... Sarah Rovery. Skinny cow. I love That's pretty. Jumpsuit and tilt, awful blue jumpsuit thing. I'll just start it. So, there's Donna all the way over there. Tash tries to catch up. Oh, this is. Atlantis costume. Evil dolls! It'd be very good not to touch, but you just have that temptation. Oh, have they? Nice wig. Uh, I got the crystals. Oh, we've seen those before. These tiny, tiny outfits. Just this is slightly bigger. Uh, cool. I love that tie. It's an awesome tie. And uh, we got this. And this is the end of our tour around the costume tables. Ah. Oh really? Oh, so your favourite? Up against her when I walked in. Yeah. Stop. Oh, there you go. Ta-da. Ta-da. So, you got your uh, thing signed, didn't you? Your, your. By Genius. By, by Mr. Genius. 
So we've just got to get that signed by David Hewlett now. So. And it's the final day! No! Oh, no, we are tired. So, anyway, see you later. Bye! Final day at Chevron. And we're sat outside. Still waiting to get our final autograph. This is ridiculous. Donna's doing her tattoo. Um, put the saddle on it. And we're burning here. Um, oh, but the stupid thing is, is they still haven't got free groups through. Now the thing is, is they've put standards and we're a bit frustrated because we paid out for a gold ticket. You kind of wonder why you paid for that. You kind of won't end up wondering why you pay for it because standards and silvers, they've gone through, you know, and yet golds are taking ages to get through. So it's kind of not fair that we're not allowed to, you know, we pay extra and we're not allowed to go through ASAP. Now I know they have 150 golds, but it's not the point. They, you know, we should be allowed to go through. So well, I remember last time the golds all queued up and it was in their group numbers. And then you had... Yeah. I think it's where they've done so many things on one day. They've got so many people. And so yeah. many things on one day. That instead of going, right, like, gold first, and silver this, and then that. Yeah. They've just gone... They've just gone, randomly yeah. ...randomly so that you can get to everything. But it doesn't work out right if you're paying out for gold. Yeah. It's because they've got seven people. Yeah. Well, also, probably eating a Kit Kat. Also, if you want a personalisation or something, then they turn around and go, sorry, we ain't got the time. You're not allowed to talk to him or he's not going to talk to you because we... Like, Richard Dean Anderson, it's like, well, that's not fair. We've paid for our tickets. No, I know everybody else has paid for tickets, but we've paid a They're lot more. personalisation and we're not. It's not fair. Yeah. We've paid to be here. You should set a proper time limit. It's not our fault that you've organised the schedule so that we're the last to be seen. They should have come in at nine like they normally do. Yeah, well thankfully David was there early, but that's because he still had several groups from yesterday to sign, so... This, is, this isn't a pissing us off at all, clearly. Um, so yeah, we got to go back at 12. The crew member is hopefully helping us out to get in the queue before our uh, letter's called. But um, we were hoping to get through everything and then just disappear for like lunch and be back for the talks early. But no such luck, we're still sat here at the Hilton. Just kind of like, uh. I'm going to go get a cup of tea in a minute. Mm. Well, after I've opened you. Uh, autograph, yeah. Autograph, sorry. A cup of tea and a portion of chips. Oh. I need a cold drink. I think cost five quid for porcelain chips. <laughs> I need a cold drink, but I could really do with a tea, because... I'm going to get a cold drink in there, either way. I just need something to do. No, no, no. Well, I'm not saying you, I'm just saying I'm torn, because... Went down for breakfast this morning, and they didn't have the Twinings breakfast tea. They just had Tetley. Yep, so I've not had a cup of tea yet. She hasn't had a cup of tea. My tea got half left, because it was a bit... Bleh. Um, so yeah, so, so we're gasping for a drink, so, but like I say, I'm quite hot at the moment, so I could really do with a, uh, really do with a drink, so. I'm burning, I can feel it. Yeah. So I think we should start going inside. I don't know what time it is. What time is it? I'm just looking. Oh, sorry. I think Donna's kind of fed up with me now. Not fed up with you. <coughs> I've already pissed her off in the autograph section several times. <laughs> you me off? Oh, okay. How did you piss me off? I thought you were getting frustrated with me. <sighs> Good frustrated, son. Cute. What time is it? I'm British. I can't forget frustrated. Or two. <laughs> so we've still got another ten minutes before. Well, we'll start making our way in five minutes. Give a chance to walk through. <laughs> Get up. <laughs> yeah. Another five minutes of toasting. And then tomorrow I'll be beautifully burnt for the trip over. I was about to say, yeah. That lady in the chair with the striped top. Um, 
she uh, was saying that she was getting too sore. You know, like we were saying about we were saying about how painful it's getting to, to be at this. And she says she's not sure if she's going to be at the next one because it's just taking too much out of her. Yeah. So she was like, "Well, are you going to be here next year?" I was like, "Well, we want to be, but it's starting to take its toll, isn't it?" And yeah, well, they can, yeah. So, especially the way it is at the moment, so, but, anyway. It is nice that we've got time to sit today. Oh, yeah, it's nice. What's happening during the to be confirmed stage? That I don't know yet. Might be worth asking that at the registration so desk when I'll... it's still to be I'll... confirmed? Yeah, it's still to be, <laughs> yeah. Um, unless they announced it at the auction yesterday. So, um, yeah, we'll ask at the registration disc, but... We're gonna go for now, sign off. Feel all thread up and stuff, so anyway. tired and I'm taking and I'm ruining your boundary space. <laughs> We're here for I don't want to sit on the seat anyway. <laughs> when my camera can focus. David Hewlett, Paul McGillian and David Nickel. The three doctors. How are they gonna see what's on the screen? No, this is the normal talk first. Oh. I don't know how the, the commentary is being done, so... They must have to play it on the screen. We've got a short commentary next. And they've got to sit so somewhere to watch it, haven't they? Yeah. Maybe they get a little television on the uh, I, I, oh, hello. Hello, sorry. <laughs> I don't know, they're doing the commentary over there. I, I, I assume they'll... They probably have their own little monitors, maybe. So, so yeah, so we're just getting ready for talk, so... Very Atlantis. Uh, so. Sorry. What? And there's the oh, the zoom is over it. Awesome. Yeah, we're right next door to the camcorder. So. <laughs> so. Oh. I think they could get for their own. Uh, yeah, I wish they sold like DVDs. But they seem to. Yeah, it gets put on YouTube and all that stuff. <laughs> But, yeah, but, just always let you go. but they keep it for their own records, so, which is nice if you work. I wonder if the crew get it. We should ask Lisa. Right. So, well, yeah, especially if it gets sold again. So. Anyway. See you later.